now with the musicians and lifelong friends co-orchestrating the big sound of the Broadway hits, Some Like It Hot. And it's making the most out of that massive 17-piece orchestra that is just so special. They are taking us behind the curtain for a rare peek at the musical's magic. Take a look. I hope you like your Broadway hot. I think that what's unique about Some Like It Hot People on Broadway, you know, they aren't used to hearing kind of like this wall of sound, this wall of brass anymore. This amazing score written by Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman uh, really called for like a big sound, a big, lush, mid-century MGM sound. It really makes you feel immersed uh, in the orchestration. It makes you immersed in the composition. Both my parents are musicians and they figured out that I had perfect pitch when I was two years old and they started me on piano uh, lessons. I'd go to big band concerts with my dad and I'd go to my mom's orchestra recording sessions and, and symphony concerts. So I've always had an interest in like big sounding ensembles, lots of musicians, big noises. My dad was a high school band director, so I spent a lot of time around musicians. I grew up in a very eclectic space with lots of different influences and it's one of the more useful and important skills to have as an orchestrator. What we do in the show is we orchestrate. And what does orchestrate mean? It's a very strange and old-fashioned word, but essentially what it is, is we are hearing the unrealized potential in a piece of music. It's nice to know my brother here is also my best friend. We coin this term throughout the process. We'd like to call it the, the handoff. Um, and it's that moment where, you know, where I'm working on a portion of the orchestration, where my work ends and Charlie's begins. And by the end of the process, you couldn't really feel the seams. So advice I would give to a young composer, orchestrator, arranger, musician, anybody who wants to get into the world of musical theater is this. Listen to as much music as you can. Be really authentic about it and really absorb it. In this current moment and our current culture, I would say that music makes me reflective. Music is opportunity. You get to meet all sorts of different people. You get to hear their experiences. That's what music is. It's the great connector. Oh, I love that. And I love music. And I love that they make instruments look cool. Oh, yeah. Well, he was standing on the table and <laughs> yes, he was doing that. Yeah. Playing the Tommy play. saw that show. I'm so jealous because it's awesome. He says it's unbelievable. So looks a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.